All right, just connecting to software. Okay, it says we're live, but we don't have a picture yet. Hold on. It says excellent connection. Okay, we have a picture. Let me see if it eventually... Oh, your hand is back. We can see you. All right, hopefully they can hear me too. Bethany says, welcome back. Can you hear Scott now? Can you guys hear me okay? Say something else. Hello, hello, hello. It seems like your audio is working. Yay, you're back. Letter Lady Z is back. Can Sorry, you guys. Can you guys. hear me okay? Yay, you're back. We can see and hear you. Great. Okay. Sorry about that. Boy. No clue why things do that. Yeah. Maybe the software got upset that we uh, ignored it for a day. Yeah. It was pissy because you didn't use it on Wednesday. So it's so stupid. It makes no sense. No. That he does everything the exact same way and all the stuff is the same. All the settings are the same. Everything. It just decides it's not going to work. <laughs> Bethany, I promise I'll try not to text you any more problems this morning. <laughs> Honey, this is so not your fault. Thank you for texting me and keeping us straight so we can at least have a... Uh, have a decent live without having problems. Good gravy. It failed and now back again. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, so why don't you tell all these lovely folks? <laughs> Jen and he says, yes, my toddler says the mermaid is back. <laughs> Not sure if that's you or Mr. T. Maybe both. All right. Um, Was the sketch do... traced or not? Um, I projected it so I can get the the um, proportions right, but as you guys saw, I did all of the this. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Um, why did you use a number two pencil for this one instead of like a watercolor pencil or something else? Um, I never use a watercolor pencil. Oh, you mean like when I do like doodles? Yeah. Watercolor pencils. Um, no, I, I never use that uh, for an underdrawing, but I use a 4H pencil when I do watercolors. Okay. And that's because they erase easily because I don't want any of the pencils. Okay. But I'm using a, a number two pencil because I want to keep the pencils because the markers are going to go on top of it. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm I just thought I'd ask. I'm going in with a cool color first, which is something I never really used to do, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to hit stop here. I'm going to start up again. Today is complete and utter chaos, in case you haven't noticed. So, welcome to the Thunderdome, people. This is a very Monday morning for a Friday, says Yeah, Hudson. right? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of feels like it, huh? It's like, holy cow. All righty then. <clears throat> Excuse see. me. No, that's a little not blue enough. Have you watched Heartstopper? I have not. Is that uh, on? What is it on? Sarod is back. Night Watcher said, Hey, Scott, thanks for the advice you gave. It really made my day better. Oh, good. Feels like a very Monday thing, doesn't it? Yeah, today. Um, let's see. You guys got any questions? Yeah, what? sorry about the false start. Uh, I think everybody knows we can't really control technology sometimes. We wish we could, and we're supposed to be able to, but, uh, but here we are. Yes, attempt number two, Ellen. Attempt number two. Hi, Hiroko. How are you? How is everybody? Little Frog's back. It's been so long since I caught a live. How are you guys doing? Uh, we are doing good. Welcome back. Yeah. We are on Monday. Was it Monday we did? Monday. Pink? Mm -hmm. Monday we did pink. And then Wednesday was just... Wednesday we took a day off. Yeah. And then today we're going to do Mr. T in markers. We are indeed. And I will make a video um, that will be everything I know about markers. There you go. Which isn't much, but I will do my best. Um, 
Let's see. Cookie Lighted Soul is doing a workout with weights. Oh, that's great. They're giving something new a try. And Ryan says, return to stream the revenge. <laughs> Crazy, right? Uh, I'm going to come in with some pinks. I'm literally just figuring this stuff out as I go. Boy, is it smell. Really? They never bothered you before. Yeah, these are, come over here and smell this. They're really strong. I'm okay. I'm sure that we'll waft over here. Um, let's see. Yeah, gremlins. I don't know what happened today. Who knows? Richard Williams says, hello, neighbor. Just found your socials. Really enjoying. Oh, hello. Ghostbuster says, excuse me. Hey, Scott, want to try and draw with you this morning? Do you have any ideas on who I should draw? I could also draw you. <laughs> How about Egon? Who is Egon? Ghostbusters. Oh, oh, thank you. Um, Lula says we're back. We are indeed. How was your free day, says Jay? It was okay. You know, I, I always feel bad if I take a personal day off, and, and there really wasn't too much for me to do. I just kind of played some video games and moped around the house a little bit. And moped. He moped a little bit. It's a little mopey. Mm, Oops says, I love your artwork so much. Thank you. You guys are so funny. It's Triz Art says, hi, I know you won't see this. Ha ha, I'm seeing it. But I'm your biggest fan since 2022, and you inspired me in making a channel, so thank you for that. I just oh, wanted to say it. Thank you for telling me that. It's very nice to meet you. My kitten is staring at the marker. <laughs> Um, gaming with A12. Hi, I just wanted to say I love your art and keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. One up girl cooking and reorganizing under my sink right now. You're keeping me company as I do it. Thanks everyone. <laughs> Better you than me. The sketch is already awesome. Oh, Spanish sass is here. Hey, Spanish sass. How are you friend? My grandma loved the A-Team. It always makes me think of seven-year-old me watching it with her at her house after school. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. What a great memory. Um, so, all right. I am still trying to <laughs> Mara Lee says, things. ah, my question exactly. They still smell. Yeah. <laughs> Letter Lady Z says, gotta love the really funny-looking beginning stages. Gosh, it's so bad. You know, it kind of looks like my, uh, my CAT scan. <laughs> It kind of does, though. You say so. Jen and he said, I'll hold it up. You want to see my sinuses again? This week, I drew Fezzik from The Princess Bride. Who do you think would win in a fight between him and Mr. T, or would they just be adorably intimidating friends? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I see them sitting at a table, having a pot of tea, and just laughing and laughing. Yeah. That's what I see. Fezzik would be drinking ale. I don't know. Betcha I could get him to drink some tea. <laughs> this person says, my sister looks at this and asks me, are you watching a movie? <laughs> oh, so funny. All right. I'm going to do what I do with the colored pencils. And I'm going to come in with the eyes. Because mm. I think that's the only way it's going to start to feel right. Leon says, good morning, Scott and Donna. I submitted my art to an exhibit that will be showing this summer. That's amazing. That is so cool. Congratulations. Scott, have you tried to draw with a glass pen? I have tried, and I recommend you try it also if you haven't. Uh, I think I, like, scribbled a couple lines. Went, nope, not like for it. me. Yeah. I didn't like the feel of it. Mm -mm. Um, I love a nice glass dip pen. Any advice on how to stop looking for references and actually pick one? Yeah. I spend forever looking at things that would be neat to draw, and then I can't pick anything. Yeah. Poor yeah. Frankie. I do the same thing. He does hundreds and hundreds of pictures he goes through. It's ridiculous. Amy says, morning with a little heart. Good morning. Saroja is sleep deprived. I oh, feel no. you, friend. I feel you. I woke up at five this morning and my brain just decided it was going to, I don't know have a party in my head and come up with a million things it should be thinking about at 5 a.m. All at once. Yeah. 
So are you going to help Frankie pick one or no? Pick one what? A photo reference. I, how can I help him pick a photo? How, how, how do you narrow it down? I, I, I don't. I sit there and, until I have no choice. Or, okay, photo references when I'm doing something for me are I find a photo reference and that inspires the art. But when I'm when it's like I've got to go live and I better pick something, that's like today. I'm just like I just got to select something. I don't have much choice. But if I'm doing something that is for um, watercolor, I usually select something that has a lot of nice design for the inks, you know, for the for the ink line, and it's more designy. But if I'm doing something that's for colored pencils or markers or gouache, I pick something that is more geared towards light and shadow and color of the skin. I don't know if that'll help or not, but. I like that. Pethany says, this is a true example of trust the process. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Um, it is 921 in the morning here. We are in the central time zone. Kawhi Dragon Cat says, Hiya, I recently got some new markers and I'm curious if you have any tips to using them because I have only really worked in black and white up until now. Um, yes. And hopefully I will have a video mm -hmm. later today about that. That's mm -hmm. what I'm recording right now. Mm -hmm. but, and you can um, just watch him make this piece of art here. If you've yeah. got any questions on blending or... Well, I, I, I don't know. Pick something. I haven't done markers in a bit. So uh, I am gonna fumble around and i might throw this away and start all over again i don't know um but i my gut always says to just lay down some colors and then you'll figure it out that's my gut so that's what i'm doing um you try not to lay down anything like a black until you're 100 percent sure and uh, so you lay down lighter colors and slowly build up and I know that I can come back in with colored pencils and lighten things up later. So I'm going to do that, I'm sure. What should I do? I'm not enjoying making art, but I want to get good. Well, if you're not enjoying making art, um, you can try a different medium. Uh, it could be the medium or you could try a different subject. Mm -hmm. Um, missed the paper choice. It is not Bristol paper, Colleen. This is yeah. from the Ohuhu sketchbook. This is the Ohuhu sketchbook. Mm -hmm. It comes with a little plastic insert thing. Yeah, you put it in, in underneath, and mm -hmm. you can see the uh, yeah Marker. the colors are bleeding, mm -hmm. and it's ble but it's hitting this plastic. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. I love the smell of markers. Weird things like nail polish, paint, and gasoline always smell amazing to me for some reason. <laughs> You know, I also like the smell of gasoline. I always used to blame my grandfather because he owned a gas station. Yeah. I think that was his fault. Mm. Hi, Scott and Donna. Thanks for always inspiring us to draw every day. I started a 30 Days of Drawing Animals challenge and started with a red panda. Oh. Today I'm drawing a donkey alongside you. Oh, God. Okay, first of all, red panda. Yay! Second of all, donkeys are the cutest. Aren't they just the cutest? Oh, my God. I had... The good fortune of meeting um, Mommy Farmer's donkey, Rip, before he passed away. And he was just the cutest thing in the whole wide world. The cutest thing. Um, do you recommend any markers for students? I, I really like the Artbeak markers. And there's a link to them on my site mm -hmm. uh, under art supplies I've tried. Mm -hmm. I liked them. They were really good. Good price too. Yeah, a really good price. Okay, so I kind of got that worked out. Let me... These are Okuhus and these are a lot more expensive markers. Yeah. Much to the cheapy and me's chagrin, but they are good and I love the way you blend with them. Well, don't love it yet because I haven't. I, I'm, okay, I'm I hate totally, the way you're doing it right now. Yeah, Stop I doing it. Totally screw this up. You're totally messing it up. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I married you. <laughs> uh, K. 
chaos, people, chaos. I love seeing you use markers because I usually use markers and tried watercolors and my use of marker influences how I use watercolor and I see the opposite for you. You use markers like you do watercolor. <laughs> yeah. Funny. I saw that in the painting with pink on, on Monday that your, your watercolor technique, like you were trying to go back to the roots of colored pencils and, and you're really good at colored pencils, but I noticed the watercolor influence and even the gouache a little bit with laying down that color before you did it. You'd never done that before with colored pencils. Oh. Yeah. And I've been around a whole long time, so I've seen you do a whole lot of paintings. So... All right, I'm going to try to get some of the shadows in here. Oh, I'm sorry, Saroja. I get it. I don't know what it has been the last few nights. I, I've been waking up at 3 or 4 or 5. I don't know. So one of the things I, I want to say, because I'm observing how I'm doing this as I'm doing it, and I will say the thing that I'm doing is I'm not trying to get the colors perfect. I'm not going right here as I'm looking at the photo. It's kind of a pink. I'm just laying some colors out and I'm just slowly building it up. So uh, don't let yourself freeze thinking, oh, well, that's not the right color. Oh, I've got to select the right color. I'm try to go two or three colors lighter than what you think it's going to be and then just see how you like it and then slowly build it up i like that idea i do i do why are you using that much black it looks really interesting to go in with dark first um so yeah let me show you i, I was it was feeling very just wishy-washy and so mm, is that a technical term yes okay So if you look at the photo, that black is very prominent. And I think yeah. it defines, like if I was to just draw um, just the black parts, mm -hmm. just the eyes, the eyebrows, the, you would know right there, that's Mr. T. Yeah, you would. Like there was, if sure. the whole page was white and there was just this, mm -hmm. it's that iconic. Yeah. And so I thought, let me do that for me. It helps me feel like, oh. okay, I'm not a failure. At least I know that it's Mr. T. You're so funny. I'm not a failure. Um, so I'm going to try to find something lighter than this. Uh, yeah, they come with a plastic insert, these, um, the Ohuhu sketchbooks. Yeah, it comes with the little plastic yeah, piece, which is really... Come with it. I mean, it's not like they spent a lot of money on that piece of plastic, but it's a cool. No, but it's a thing, nice little. You know? yeah. It's a nice little um, feature so that it doesn't go um, through to the other pages. Yeah. Um, I recently picked up the new Sharpie acrylic markers. Very limited color choices, but Donna, they're like butter. Ooh, <laughs> really? You're speaking her language. You are. You are. You're wooing me. Um. Have you ever posed for your own painting? He has not. Yes, I have many times. When? Honey, I have so many photos of me as Spider-Man, as characters from Mortal Kombat, okay, well, that's, from Star I guess Trek, taking, is or... taking pictures the same as posing? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I have this picture of you like standing on a pedestal for like And who'd be drawing me, dear, for my own pictures? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you didn't really think that one through, did you? I didn't you? think that one through, no. I just have this... <laughs> I'm just sitting in a room posing for no one. <laughs> Donna walks in. What do you do? I'm posing for my own pictures. <laughs> I'm hoping I come by at some point and draw me because I'm getting tired of holding this pose. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, tapping out, tapping out. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, all right. And it was the instant no from her, too. It's not like she thought about it. Well, I just... She's just like, oh, I know this one. This, I know this a, answer. You standing on a pedestal, to me, is not the same as, like, like posing... <laughs> 
<laughs> no one mentioned the pedestal. <laughs> Today's nude figure drawing, dear. <laughs> oh my gosh! <coughs> wow. Okay, we keep it clean. We have we have. <coughs> You're the one picturing me on a pedestal. All right. <coughs> All right. Santa says hello, friends. Hey, Santa. <laughs> oh my God, Santa boy, did you come at the <coughs> come in here at the wrong time? Sorry about that. <coughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. Um, oh, let's see. So, Jamie Brown has joined. I, I got to get my composure back. Um, yeah. Bethany says, you don't ever show those photos. You've shown, shown all sorts of Donna's post pics. Yeah, he, yeah, no, he would never um, show himself posing. But well, me and let's Spandex, just, let's just say, I, Yeah, I didn't look as good in spandex as Donna did, so. I beg to differ. <laughs> Expired lemon. You didn't expect half of this this morning. Sorry about that. Wow, it's 9.30 already. Okay. Um... Do you tag the people you draw? Sometimes. I got in tag pink or anything like that because sh she wasn't the subject of the video. It was colored pencils. Um, yeah. Sometimes the bands or musicians or actors will respond or share it or something like that. You know, like Bon Jovi, Duran yeah. Duran. Um, you know, yeah, that was cool. That was kind of cool. Yeah. But. Hmm. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh, Hazel. I highly doubt that one. Oh Lord. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to collect myself. Um, Ryan says, it's funny. I bought um, Ohuhu's because I didn't want to pay for Copics. Are Copics more expensive than Ohuhu's? Yeah. Yeah. And Ohuhu's are expensive. I'm sorry. Can you do that one again? Ohuhu's are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, say you use alcohol markers every other day. I use alcohol markers every other day. No, how long would they last before they dry out? <laughs> Stop it! <you're> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm about to step out for a minute. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> okay, tell everybody how long they last before they dry out. <laughs> I, it really just, if you're using them every single day, it depends. Do you have like a 12 pack or a 300 pack? Because a 300 pack, you're kind of spreading out the love a little bit. And, uh, but I would say maybe three months. <clears throat> Santa says you two behave and be good. <laughs> We're just. Santa, you missed the beginning of the live because the microphone wasn't working and then we had the, to restart cam and the camera wasn't working, so we had to restart the whole thing. It's been utter chaos all morning, and so this is just par for the course. <laughs> all right, I'm going to come in with some... Oh, God. Amy says, dang, I hop off for three minutes to make a phone call and come back to something chaotic going on. Exactly. There you go. Oh, my good Lord. Okay. I always notice how you hold your pencil, pen, paintbrush. Were you ever told that how you hold yours was wrong or try to change it? Uh, when I went to art school, they told you to hold like this. And and I said, you can't make me. And Oh, I, he did too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I held the paper. There's no right way or wrong way. It's um, There's the way that certain people teach it. And there's a benefit to this. If you're drawing large, it's really good, you know. But you can hold a pencil any way you want to. Mm -hmm. All that matters in art, all that matters mm -hmm. is the end result when you're showing your art. Doesn't matter if you did it with your feet, doesn't matter if you traced it, it doesn't matter if you copied something, it doesn't matter. If you make a piece of art and it makes people feel something, mm -hmm. that's all that matters. What if you make a piece of art and you're just really happy with it? Yeah, well, that's fantastic too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nixia. Appreciate you. Um, have you ever drawn any Disney characters? Oh, yeah. Tons. Have you ever used a Pentel brush pen? I 
don't know. I would assume you have, seeing as how we have tried every brush pen known to man. And we have. You guys are awfully silly today, and I'm loving every minute of it. Thank you, Bella. Oh, gosh. It's just Friday. Scott woke up and decided to be sassy and a smarty pants. I love it. He did indeed. Spanish sass says, Copics are so expensive. I don't have any, and you know I buy every art supply in this world. <laughs> you do indeed, my friend. Let me see if I can get something even. This is a purple. Yeah, yeah. good to yeah. know. I am okay. I am just going <clears> to <throat> probably be snorting my way through the thing. The dad jokes are deep today, says Brandy. I did a drawing of Scott the other day, and it turned out really good. And now, all of a sudden, I can draw people, and it looks like them. Thanks for the good look. Oh, that's fantastic. If you ever post it, tag me. I'd love I to love see it. That. Mr. T is judging all of us with that look. Yeah. <laughs> he saw me take the last cookie, says Santa. So funny. Um, I had a teacher tell me that I grip it too tight, wrong finger, etc. I think it's a personal preference. Yeah, I, I will say this. <clears throat> if you are in a, in a class and you're taking the class, listen to the teacher and see if it helps. You, do, you can always go back to your own way of doing things. But if you're in school and the teachers are offering you to do... Do that for the semester. Do that for whatever. And then you can always go back. But um, never be afraid to um, try something new with your art. Mm -hmm. If someone says, hey, why don't you try this? Now, granted, if someone comes up to you, and especially teachers, that they say, no, you're holding this wrong, mm -hmm. I think that's bad. I don't, I don't think you should say that. Uh, I would say, why don't you try this technique for a little bit? Give it a week. Give it, you know... Get, you know, do a couple pieces with this technique and see what you think. Well, on that note, I think sometimes people also don't know how to say it in a nice way. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the problem. As opposed to saying like, why are you holding it like that? That's wrong. The, you know, somebody could say, you know what? I've had success holding it this way. Yeah. This might be more beneficial for you. It's really hard to go into an art class and be a student and then tell the teacher that you've had success with no something. no i meant the teacher saying that to the oh, student oh okay not okay. the other way around yeah instead okay. of the teacher saying that's the wrong way to do it yeah. because it's bloody art yeah. and maybe they can't yeah hold there the is no right or wrong the... way exactly but, maybe but they you know can't. what the thing is a lot of teachers don't believe in there being a, a, a wrong a right they believe that there's a right and a wrong way yeah in art and and yeah. that's that's their whole world is i was told the right way to do art and and, and I, I think that works in math it works in science uh yeah. it even works in english you know or or, or, or history um but mm -hmm. it doesn't work that way in oh. art when there's a when there's something definitive when it's yeah. finite it works art is not like that yeah you know I mean, it's it's just not like that. So uh, again, I, I'm I just want to emphasize. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't figured it out yet. I am just mm -hmm. laying in some colors and seeing uh, mm -hmm. what's going to work, what's not working. Uh, does it? Do I need more orange? Do I need more purples? Do I need more? Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of figuring this out to see because. Um, let, I'm I'm very very rusty at this. Let and... me let me interject too. Jaden wanted to know how to do skin tones, and that's what Scott's explaining right now. So if you can, you maybe show the photo reference really quick, so that everybody can see what you're looking at. So you can see there there's purples in here. Thank you. There's there's the reds over here. Um, there's some more like lavenders and some blues in the skin over here and down here. There's some purples. And so I'm just finding all of that mm -hmm. and I'm kind of working with that. But because this is markers and not colored pencils or gouache or watercolor, I'm at a loss right now as to how to get these to blend. I'm trying to mm -hmm. do it without pulling out the colored pencils. I know if I grabbed colored pencils, I could get them to, you know, kind of just mm -hmm. go over the markers. But I, I wanted to do something on markers. And so that's why I'm trying to see if I can 
mm -hmm. you know, kind of do it. Now, mm -hmm. the thing that I'm doing is I'm purposely not going too dark with the skin tones yet. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of not making that determination just yet. And I'm slowly mm -hmm. building up as I try to figure out how I want to blend these colors. Mm -hmm. But the way I blend colors is going to be probably with colored pencils. That's just how I how I do it. And so I think that might be the subject of the videos. This is how I mm -hmm. blend my colors. Mm -hmm. Jaden, I hope that helps. I hope you're still here and I hope that helps. Um, Amy is super into metallic watercolor these days. Scott has not done anything or a lot with metallics yeah, or really sparklies. Don't. He does not like those. Um, this was the definition of trust the process. Yeah. And not, you know, the process isn't always going to work out in my favor. Yeah. Um, no, these are Ohuhu's, not Artbeak. Yeah, I gave away the art beak. We, mm -hmm. we we did a thing where we gave away a, a lot of oh my art God, supplies. So many art supplies. And yeah. one of them was the complete art beak set. Mm -hmm. Because I had the the, the Ohuhu ones, and so I thought I might as well share the wealth. Share the wealth. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of um, wonderful art supplies free from companies, so we have not uh, tried anything new in a while. So let's see. Have you used water brush pens? I bought some as an impulse, but now I don't know how to use them. Water brush pens. Are those the ones that are clear where you fill up water? Arun, are they the ones where you have water inside them? Oh, letter lady Z, give your husband your wallet. Give him your wallet. He's taking her to Blick. They're planning a the trip. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see. What is your favorite thing to draw? Hair. I like to draw hair. Oh, you guys. What? Pencil is an acceptable medium. And you can be an artist if you use markers. You can be an artist if you use paints. You can be an artist if you work with fiber. You can be an artist if you work with clay. You can be an artist if you work with oils. All the mediums count, and no one gets to tell anybody else whether they are or aren't. Is someone an telling artist. you that you're you're? No, no, they're just they're they're like you know, they're I just wasn't asking saying you. No, they're just asking, and I I get the feeling like a lot of people feel like people are saying to them, "You're using pencil, so you're not an artist," or "You're using markers, so you're not an artist." Jeez. And um, several people have said that, and so you know what? Don't listen to anybody. Yeah. You're an artist no matter what you use. If you're making art, you you're can make artist. art with, with, you could just take paper and cut it up. Mm -hmm. You could just script, you know, there's mm -hmm. there's artists who do murals on mm -hmm. walls and and mm -hmm. just make, make art that makes you happy and don't worry about what other people yeah, think. Yeah, just ignore everybody else. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you draw what you want, use the medium you want, and enjoy yourself. That is the most important thing enjoy yeah. your art um jaden says i drew harry styles the other day and failed with the ohuhu markers like you draw skin tones oh uh, i think i failed when i drew harry styles too <laughs> i think it's a curse well it's probably only a curse because he thinks he's prettier than everybody so you couldn't possibly get his beauty there Can't so capture his voluptuousness you couldn't nope mm -mm. i personally don't think he's cute but you know to each their own do you still post on tiktok or do you prefer tiktok or youtube i post here and tiktok but so i i prefer if like if if someone says where should i watch you i would always say youtube because youtube pays us better um, but I, I genuinely don't mind if you watch my stuff on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm feeling like I want to grab some colored pencils, so I'm going to do that real quick. Well, I think I could still go a little darker, so let me do... Yep, words count for a medium, too. You can be a writer. Yeah. And you're an artist. Yeah. Yeah. 
I love how you build up so many colors. It's fascinating and impossible to emulate. It is not impossible it to is emulate. Not. I promise you. No, it's just practice. It's practice, practice, practice. That's all. You can't pick up something the first time around and expect to be good at it. You just can't. You know, if you pick up something and you go, you know what? I really don't like this. Yeah. This isn't, I'm not enjoying doing this, you know, then you could try something else. You know, like you got tired with the colored pencils, so you picked up watercolors. Yeah. But even that took you a while to get comfortable with watercolors and figure out that you wanted to use the inks underneath and kind yeah. of get your, get your, um, your system going for, for that, for how you wanted to use yeah. that. But you don't have to be... Just because you don't like something, you know, or you don't, it doesn't come out right or whatever. I mean, try something else. Don't get discouraged. The problem with them is the more layers you add, the more the paper bleeds. That's why you, you want to put something in yeah, between. Yeah, you see, see how this is bleeding? Yep. And this plastic is keeping... Mm -hmm. See? It keeps the next sheet clean. Mm -hmm. And before Scott had plastic, when he was just, when you would use like a Bristol sketchbook or something, he oh, would yeah. put a piece of cardboard in between. Yeah, yeah. Before he had the Okuhu ones. What is your favorite alcohol marker brand? I don't have one. Um, I'll use anything. Uh, I like the brush tips. Uh, that I didn't have that when I was growing up. Um, so I really love these brush tips. Uh, but Art, Artbeak is the cheapest, and so it's like if they're all equal and they are, are like, Ohuhu is the same as Copic is the same as Artbeak uh, mm -hmm. to me. And so um, all things being equal, I'll take the cheapest one, which mm -hmm. is Artbeak. Yep. Um, let's see. Pencils are great. I use pencils. You guys can use whatever makes you happy. Yeah, please do. Whatever makes you happy. And again, if you're doing something and it's you're not happy with it, try something else. Um, what style to draw Harry Styles? That is the dilemma, <laughs> says Ryan. Oh my gosh. I feel like art is about intent. I call myself an artisan because I don't try and communicate or tell a story. I'm normally more focused on mastering technique, etc. Well, I don't tell a story. I mean, I don't. I don't know of a single piece. Even the guild didn't tell a story. Um, I just make art because it makes me happy, and I still consider myself an artist. Um, you can call yourself an artisan if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think don't sell yourself short. Debbie says, how, asks, how did you develop discipline, Scott? I really struggle with that. Um, I, I think some of it is a little bit of competitiveness. Like, I want to be as good as that kind of feeling. And other of it is making art makes me happy. And I think the other one is I wasn't good at anything else. And so there was just that, that convergence of uh, <clears throat> my dad was a very competitive person. So I think I got a little bit of that um, along with just um, not, not having anything that really made me feel as good as when I made a nice piece of art. So, I mean, if you love making art, that should be your... inspiration mm -hmm. to, to, to be making art. You shouldn't have to be, and, 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 you know, like Wednesday, I just wasn't, I just had nothing I wanted to do. Uh, you're okay to have days, months, years. Mm -hmm. I went 10 years without making traditional art. Mm -hmm. You could totally take time off if you need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Every live, we get this question. If you could use one art supply for the rest of your life, Amy would like to know, what would it be? I think I, I think it would be watercolor and ink. The thing that you see me use the most. 
And I, being married to you, would never begrudge you an art supply because I don't want to hear the complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this for you and my sanity. <laughs> totally. Oh, my God. A thousand. I love you. A thousand. And I don't want to hear you whine. That is true. That is true. Because when you're happy, honey, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> the same way I look at you every time we go to the art store and I find a new notebook and I'm like, Oh, I don't need another notebook. And Scott's always like, eh, get it if you want it. See? It's always it's always good to be supportive of your partner. I think we've reached a saturation point with your notebooks to where I go. You really don't need another sketchbook or another notebook, dear. And yet here we are. <laughs> I went to the art store with you last time and got another one. <laughs> Never said a word. You just paid for it. I, know. <laughs> I love you, honey. Um, let's see. <sighs> Where are we? Um, are you gonna do the feather on his ear? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think I'm just still trying to figure out what the final look of it's gonna be. Yeah. Um, I love the way you blend, have blended the skin. It looks so good. Well, it's getting there. Thank you. Yeah. It no, needs... I love it. This reminds me of the the Lizzo painting that you did where you were blending her skin and it just was coming out so beautifully. Yeah, with her, I did uh, warm colors underneath. You did. Yeah. I'm trying this one. The with skin cool tones are just like they're beautiful. I thought you did a beautiful job on the um, the pink skin tones on Monday too. Her skin was flawless. It was beautiful. Yeah, thanks. I don't know if you would be able to answer this one, but what's your most used marker color? Oh god, yeah. I I don't use markers very often. So mm -hmm. this is uh, me trying to figure out yeah. I mean, look at all the ones on the table. I mean, he's grabbed so many markers. Yeah, and that's... Yeah. And I'm putting most of them back, too. Yeah. Oh, Frankie says, I tend to use parchment paper from the kitchen between pages with alcohol markers, or I did before I got the Ohuhu plastic things. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Okay, we want a little bit... Something like this, maybe. Uh, let's see. Jocelyn, the Discord isn't open right now. We don't let people in during the live because the people who mod that for us are also modding here for us. And um, one thing at a time. Um, you know what? You would have to check on the cost of the Ohuhus. I don't have that in front of me and I don't remember the pricing on those. But I know they're not cheap. Um, are you going to start another big art piece soon? I don't know. I, I've been toiling around with, do I do something like the 70s alphabet or do I do another larger piece? Um, we're, we're still trying to figure that out. Spanner sass, my boyfriend enables my notebook addiction. It's bad. Uh, he's a keeper. Just saying. Um, Scott is using the Ohuhu markers. And an Ohuhu sketchbook. Um, for schoolwork, I need to draw microscopic pictures on black paper with wooden pencils. Do you have any advice maybe for drawing on black paper with wooden pencils? Um, black paper with wooden pencils? I don't know what the, the meaning of the wooden pencils is, but um, you're, you're going to need to come in with a lot of white. Yeah, it's not going to show up on a black paper. Are you using a different kind of pencil? Um, yeah, I don't know. Is using a cheap school pencil good for sketching? Absolutely. Do you have any advice between advice for choosing between music and art i know scott in the past has said if he was a musician maybe he would be a guitar player um i i i i never really got the hang of the guitar i, I took a couple lessons um but uh no i i th i think i think i would have ended up um writing music 
maybe singing, but I, I, I wouldn't want to be in front of, you know, like a, a stage of people. So I don't think I have that. But um, Oh, I could see you on stage with people flinging themselves at you. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Scott would turn around and he would be running the other direction. But uh, no, I, I, I think you hopefully find your, your, your place. Uh, but you got to do it by trying, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I took piano lessons. I took mm -hmm. guitar lessons. I, I played the keyboard. Mm -hmm. I, you know, tried singing, I, you know, like I, I, you know, you, you do those stuff, but you, 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 um, you try it. That's the thing you, you, you want to try it and see, mm -hmm. you never want to say, I wonder if I would have been good at just try it. It yeah. doesn't cost you anything. It, 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 it's, mm -hmm. it doesn't hurt anything to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie Brown says, I enable my own pen and ruler addiction benefit of being single. <laughs> okay. Here is the single version of Donna. Um, I would have five dogs. They would all sleep in the bed with me. And I would not have any furniture because you would be able to use the notebooks and the book stacks in my house as tables. <laughs> That's Donna. All right. Oh, white pe white pencils or pastel pencil on black paper looks great. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm going to come in with some colored pencils. Ooh, colored pencil time. And what colored pencils are those, please? Prismacolors. Thank you very much. Because we know that people want to know. Um, let's see. So I'm starting off with this blue. What's the most mischievous thing you've ever done? I think someone asked me that last time. Mm -hmm. uh, I married Scott. Yeah, I, I've done too many mischievous things. You have. Um, Frankie says, I love the art journal of notebooks, but they're cost prohibitive at the moment. I need to find something cheaper for using my fountain pens with. Any recommendations, Donna? Oh, you know what? Um, yeah, you could go honestly, and I'm being completely serious about this, okay? Because you know I am. Um I went to the dollar store and I got a notebook and it held fountain pen. So you could go to the dollar store and you could find a notebook. I mean, I would only probably recommend you have a little bit of ghosting on the other side. So you probably have to write on one side, but for a dollar you can buy like 25 or 30 of them, you know, and write on one side of the paper. Um, and it looked fine. So I would, I would recommend doing that if, if you're having a cost prohibitive moment, I would totally do that. If you had a chance, babe, to change your art style, what style would it be? Hold on. Pencil sharpener. Um, I would, I wish I could draw, um, comics or cartoons out of my head if I could just tell stories out of my head I would I would have so many graphic novels and so many stories and mm -hmm. yeah I wish I had that ability um practice is how he got good at skin tones practice is how you get good at anything and and it, it's it's looking at a photo I'm mm -hmm. looking at a photo I'm not trying to do this out of my head yeah I'm looking at a photo and I am copying what I see. Mm -hmm. uh, not exactly. I'm going, I want there to be more purples or more greens or more, you know, whatever in the skin tones. And um, I'm interpreting what I see. Ouch. Oh, did you hear that? That was my ankle. Oh. Yeah. It snapped my ankle. Um... Okay, so I'm going to come back in with this. I'm doing a craft fair in two weeks, and I've been market prepping the crochet and looking at painting ideas. I'm excited because it's my first time selling my art. That's, oh, that's great. That's Brie art. You're going to have such a wonderful time. Enjoy yourself. That is very exciting. Um, Mr. T is... Um, who's Mr. T? Mr. T was... Uh, if you ever saw Rocky, he was Clubber Lang in uh, Rocky Three. Uh, if you ever saw the A Team, he was mm -hmm. B. A. Baracus. Uh, he was an '80s icon. Hmm. 
Um, guys, I cannot tell you what the prices are for everything for where you live. Because if you're in a different country than we are, then the um, pricing is going to be different. There are, you can so, see the link uh, mm -hmm. on our website. Yeah. Uh, under resources, under art supplies mm -hmm. or art supplies that I've tried. Yep. Depending on what you're looking at. And, uh, and there's usually a link and mm -hmm. that might help you to see where it is in your country. You think it would click through to wherever their country it was could. and change it, or yeah. they can, or they can do you know do their own search on it. But at least yeah. they'll, they'll know. At least what it you is. can see what it what he uses. Um, Angelo wants to know at what stage should we consider to start using more expensive and higher quality art supplies. I think. Um, there comes a point where you feel like your art could get better if only you had better art supplies and i think that's one factor the other factor is can you afford it mm -hmm. come on we're <clears throat> have you watched good omens yes both seasons i actually like the second season better oh my god how do you use up art supplies faster Make more art. Hmm. Okay. Um, oh, when am I going to go live again? <clears throat> you know what? I don't know. Um, I did last week, um, to kind of fill in for Scott, but I, you know, I don't know. Um, let's see. Would you ever try doing a simpler cartoony style for your portraits? I have tried several times. I've mm -hmm. tried caricature. I've tried simplifying my, my art. I, I just haven't found anything that makes me feel happy and mm. other people seem to like you know like if i'll do it i, I kind of like this and people are like no i like your realistic stuff better uh, and i go okay and you know it, it there's i always tell people make art that makes you happy but um there there is the factor of well if no one likes your art you're not happy <laughs> So if you're making something that you're like, oh, I kind of like this, and everybody's like, mm -hmm. nope, it affects Pencil you. Pencil sharpener. It affects you, you know? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, Frankie, try the dollar store. Um. Hmm. Scott doesn't sharpen his pencils with a box cutter. You can hear the pencil sharpener. He uses a pencil sharpener in the background. Just An electric to, pencil sharpener. Yeah, yeah, electric pencil sharpener. Yeah. Until they get too small, and then he just uses the little, you know, a handheld little tiny one. Um, let's see. What's your favorite drawing you've done? Um, right now, I think it's the guild. Um, did you get any more October plushies other than the ones in the video? No, no, just the ones in the video. <clears throat> Let's see. Um. <laughs> Mr. T is pitying all of us fools. <laughs> You're so funny. What advice would you have for shading? Uh, look at photo reference. Draw a lot from what you see, and that'll help mm -hmm. you. Um, Ted, there is a video on photo reference, and also if you go to our website, there are some links for photo reference that Scott's put up and things that he's used. Okay, I cannot find my brush. Do you have any recommendations of places to donate art supplies? I don't. You know what? Schools are really good for that. What are you doing? Looking for my brush. Is it in the basket underneath? I don't know. Underneath the table? I don't 
Keep, you can keep talking, dear. And then I'm just. Yeah, no, it's not. Could you? Um. Let's see. Um, schools are really good for that, and also. Um, let me keep you have a lot of art supplies like things. Yeah, I've donated a ton of stuff, old stuff to schools and things like that. Um, let's see. Okay. What style do you use with gel pens? Any tips on making art with them? I really don't make art with you gel pens. You don't use those, That's no. a tough one. Uh-uh. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to take a light yeah. brush or a marker. I'm going to blend these a little bit. I'm trying inks. What... Do you have any recommendations for young artists? Uh, draw everything every day. Mm -hmm. Draw what you see. There's mm -hmm. a, a series, a playlist uh, that I have um, called Draw Everything Every Day. I would look at that. Do you have any tips for making an original character? Some kids at my school are having a hard time and I want to try to give advice to them. Um, write out who that character is. Don't just say, I just want to draw something. Who are they? Mm -hmm. What are they like? What are they, you know, what What are their their hopes and their dreams and everything? Find out who they are. And a lot of that will determine what they look like, what their hairstyle is, what kind of mm -hmm. clothes they're going to wear. Mm -hmm. you, um, there's a video on line weight, isn't there? Didn't you just do that? I don't know if it's line weight, but there is one on inking and... and Okay. A little bit. Okay. So Asa, check that out. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with this, but... Oh, Quincy is about to finish their sketchbook. Already ordered the next one. I'm so excited to start a fresh sketchbook. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Um, Sam and Night Sky, if you look on the website, um, under the reference things, there's links to, um, photo reference specific sites. Let's see. Hey, Gail's here. Hey, Gail. <laughs> Gail says, whoopsie, I slept in. Never say whoopsie for sleeping. Never say whoopsie. Scott doesn't take breaks well, but this person asks, if you ever had to take a break from doing art, what would be your choices? <laughs> Let's see, moping around the house. Go ahead, followed by. Oh, no, that's that's a good one. No, I don't mope. I, um, I just get bored very easily if I'm not making art. Yeah. But I just, I also just sometimes just don't have it in me to make art, you know? Yeah. You were kind of like completely out of ideas on Wednesday. Yeah. And I think you needed that break because you were able to sort of regroup yesterday and feel a little better. And then this morning you were like, yeah, I know I'm going to do this. I think breaks are important for everybody. Yeah, they are. You know? Um, let's see. I decided to take your advice, draw everything every day. And while I've not been perfect i have visibly progressed very good advice fantastic oh you guys would you say drawing based off a photo is cheating no such thing as cheating mm -mm. um until can, we get to this next question do you consider ai artists as real artists no there's, they're not artists no, no. They're, they're not artists. artists someone who's making art is an artist mm. uh someone who is Letting a computer do it for them is not an artist. Mm -mm. Um, They're not making anything. Yeah, yeah. You're not physically making anything. Yeah. What paper do you love to do with markers? Um, what paper do I love to do with... What mm -hmm. you mean? What paper do I like to use when I'm do, mm -hmm. working in markers? Um... I'm working in the Ohuhu one. I, I used to use Bristol paper, but Ohuhu is pretty nice. I like the smoothness of it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's 
see. Um, Jocelyn says, I just got a brand new sketchbook. I have two drawings in it. Fantastic. That's exciting. Um, Sora says, I found my love for Prismacolor markers because someone donated the, the, donated their collection to my school. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. That's awesome. Um, there's been a lot of suggestions from people about things they'd like to see you draw, so we can go back and do that later. Okay. Um, let's see. I think see. I'm going to add some purple to the beard and see if it gives it any kind of... Would you like to create a WhatsApp channel? I thought WhatsApp was just for messaging. Yeah, I, 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 I genuinely don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't know the, the point. Um, um, I want to thank you for your YouTube shorts. They have been an encouragement and a blessing for me as someone who has always loved art but never had any lessons. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Um, let's see. So you guys know that there's, you know, this the, the beard was black. Mm -hmm. And I'm adding just some, like, purplish like a dark purplish blue, mm -hmm. just to give it some texture. You can actually kind of see some of it, which is nice. Hmm. So you, can you see the difference between this yeah. part and this part? Yeah, you can. It's just adding like a, 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 a richness to it. Yeah, like actual stubble, like beard stubble. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Um, you forgot about the bee and fang paper. What about it? I don't know this person just said you forgot about Bee and Fang paper. I know Bee and Fang does have marker paper. I think the Bee and Fang was that like really thin paper mm -hmm. that I couldn't believe didn't bleed. Yeah. That, that was great because it didn't bleed, but I, yeah. I, I didn't particularly want to make art on it because it felt like I was making art on a tracing paper. Mm. Oh, that reminds me. I have to try that onion skin paper I got. I'm super excited to try that with my fountain pens. Okay. Yeah. How would you go about drawing famous actors and asking them if you can draw them? You don't need to ask anybody mm -mm. if you can draw them. No. No, you just go ahead, go ahead and do it. Yeah. I didn't ask Mr. Yeah. T if I could do this. Mm -mm. Um, I, I, I'm, I, you're allowed to draw whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going to try to sell a, you know, a piece of the art, you know, sell the art or a print or something like that, then yeah, you're going to need their permission you're using someone's likes but you never need mm -hmm. permission to do anything to just draw for yourself how do you decide what to draw um i i i mentioned this earlier but i i get inspiration a lot of times by um a piece of art like a photograph or something and i go wow i i want to draw that other times, like today, I was like, well, I have to draw something. So I just was looking for something to draw. Donna said, I'm going to go get some tea. And I thought, ooh, I'm going to paint Mr. T. That was really it. it. It's not, you know, magical or anything like that. But, you know, I, I also look at 99% of the pieces of art that I do are practice. And every once in a while, like the Gothic Vampire or the the Guild or um, the Dragon and Centaur, I'm going. I'm trying to make art, but this is just practice. Mm -hmm. um, what should I do if I have no ideas? Uh, just draw the world around you. Journal. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see, so many questions. Uh, okay, the best color to... What's the best color to work with when painting? I love working with the colors red and green. Um, there's no best. Uh, it's a preference. I like uh, orange and purple and teal. Mm -hmm. you and know? Payne's gray. I like Payne's gray. Mm -hmm. You know, I have 12 colors that I like to work with, and those mm -hmm. are in my... 
uh, are under my art supplies, mm -hmm. the watercolors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a video on hair, Sora, on how to make uh, all different types of hair. So check that out. Okay, I don't know what this even means. Do you have any tips on how to draw subsurface scattering? Oh, yeah, subsurface scattering is, um, there's, you have colors underneath the skin. And I will show you, hold on a second. Okay. That's good because I had no idea what that is. That's a new one. Scott has done anime drawings. Um, all right, I'll add the onion skin paper to my list okay. of things I need to do. So you see the ear? Yes. You see how it's light? Oh, like the, light, the light's going through the it. The light's going through it. Uh -huh. And okay. so there are, but, a, but, but that's one aspect of it. The other aspects are the, the blues and the purples and the greens in the skin. You're seeing underneath the skin. You're oh. seeing the, the, the blood vessels and the, and the whatever. That's what they're talking oh, about. Like when you drew the muscle guys and you would draw the veins in them. And no, stuff. the veins are the veins. I'm talking oh. about when you see me add purples and blues to the skin. Okay, okay. That's okay. it. But essentially, oh, all right. my, my, my answer is you're going to look at life. You're going to reference the world. You know, like you don't just make that stuff up. You look, you observe, and you go, okay, there's, there's this color here. There's this color there. And you practice that by... By studying, um, I, I, I feel very hesitant when people say this is how you draw anything, you know, um, and, and I keep asking, you know, getting asked, how do you draw eyes? Mm -hmm. So I always say this is how I draw eyes. Mm -hmm. But um, this is one of those things where I never took a class. No one ever told me about subsurface scattering. Like I didn't even learn that term until I was working in 3D and we were trying to replicate that look. Really? Uh, yeah, th that's not a, a, a term that, that was used in art school yeah, at all. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it would be. It's, a, it's a very that. technical term that's used in yeah. you know, 3D rendering and, and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, okay. so, so again, artists for centuries went through their entire life uh, without knowing that term. Mm -hmm. it, it's just observation. Mm -hmm. That's all observation. Okay. Uh, we have two different microphones. I have one over here at the desk and Scott has Donna's one. Donna's got the good one. On the, oh, honey, turn the recording on again. Thanks. Yeah. I, it's, it's on. Okay. Your um, Stanley Tucci glasses are so cool. You're so Thanks. funny. He has drawn the Joker. Um, what do you mean I'm free to draw whatever I want? <laughs> you are free to draw you whatever you want. You can draw whatever you want. Walk outside and draw a tree. Go to school, draw a table. Yeah. You can draw anybody, anything. Yeah. You can draw, mm -hmm. you know, uh, anything. You can draw Star Wars. You can draw mm -hmm. Harry Potter. There is no copyright law that mm -hmm. says you can't draw something. Yep. Honey, are you still on Pinterest? Uh, yeah, I, I I don't use it, but I just yeah. didn't take down my account. Okay. So he's still there, but he's not posting there. Um, what do you do when you get bored of a project? I walk away, and I never come back. Mm -hmm. The corner of shame is a thing. Um, let's see. How many sketchbooks have you filled? Oh, probably... Not enough. 20, 30, 40. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, you're watching him draw a real-life person right now. And you're watching him do shading and skin tones and hair and all sorts of things. I recently started learning gouache. What's the best way to practice in your opinion? Um, 
I, I, I best way to practice mm -hmm. is to work on smaller pieces. Don't, 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 don't practice on, on large pieces. Do like little one hour, 90 minute, two hour pieces. Uh, I think you learn more by variations and by starting and finishing a piece than you do by doing like a large piece. Um, yeah. How do you go from cartoony realistic to actually realistic? I... Photo reference. Yeah. Um, Chantel, if you go to, you still left up the, um, the animal paintings, right? The animal paintings? The 30 oh, days of yeah, national animals. Back up. Okay. Yeah. So if you go look at, Scott did 30 days of national animals, you will be able to see how to draw fur in there. He's done, he did diff, multiple different kinds of fur, like, um, tigers and bears and beavers and all sorts of different kinds of textures of fur. And there's tons of them there. Well, I gotta say, I'm not thrilled with this. Really? Because I think it looks fantastic. Yeah. Looks exactly like him, and the skin tones are phenomenal. Yeah, thanks, but it, it feels lifeless. Okay. I'm gonna go with you are always too hard on yourself, and I think it looks cool. So. Mm, let's see. I'm always so enchanted when he draws hair. It's so mesmerizing. <sighs> Seriously, guys, I've, I've been watching him draw for 35 years, and I used to sit, instead of doing my business law homework, and I used to watch him with these big, giant sheets of paper, and stuff would magically appear on paper. To this day, I watch him, like we were yesterday, we just popped out to have a quick bite to eat in between errands, and he pulled out his sketch wallet. And there he was. And I always look over and I always want to see what he's drawing because it's just, it's like magic to me. It just appears on paper. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Will you ever do landscapes oh, yeah, like do without any people? Yeah, I do that all the time. Um, hold on a second. Where I don't see I? you do landscapes without any people. Show me. Prove it. Tigers, bears, and beavers, oh my. Misty, you crack me up. Hmm. Let's see, we got... <coughs> there's a tractor. Mm -hmm. And there's fur. There's... Buildings here, building, tree, mm -hmm. building, mm -hmm. stuff. Stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's the, the Eiffel Tower in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And then stuff we went to, there's a airport. We went mm -hmm. to Carmel. Lots of stuff. Um, yeah. Just buildings. Yeah, I, I, when I travel, you know, we mm -hmm. went to Chattanooga to a mm -hmm. conservatory. A yeah, we go, uh, we, I do that a lot. Um, mm -hmm. It's just... I don't get to go and do it very often mm -hmm. um, because we're honestly bored of every place we've been, you know. We've been everywhere we can in Tennessee. Um, but Did you put a link to the sketch wallet on the website? I don't think so, no. We should put that on the website. Um, just go to sketch, just Google sketch wallet. They have multiple sizes. Donna having to put up with Scott's self-doubt feels so real. It's a thing. It's a thing, really. Uh, you are watching him blend permanent markers right here. Um, how many hours a day is it normal to be practicing? Oh, there's no normal. There's nothing normal about art. Normal is okay. sitting on yeah. the dryer, people. Everybody's different. Everybody has... Mm -hmm. different amount of free time that they can dedicate to art, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, do you take photos or, or to draw or draw what's right in front of you? Oh, uh, both. 
I take a photo uh, because I never know if I'm going to have to get up uh, for whatever reason or if, or if like something changes or whatever. So I always take a photo before I start sketching. Mm -hmm. But if I can, I would prefer to draw what's in front of me. But I would say at least half of the time I took a photo and started it and then finished it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I just whether it is I'm not happy with the noise or it's too crowded or it's too hot or it's too cold or mm -hmm. he's fighting an uphill battle yeah any tips to make a portable watercolor set on a budget um I don't have one but I've seen people use like sucrets mm -hmm. uh, containers containers and whatnot mm -hmm. but honestly for $25 you can get the one I use mm -hmm. that's a really good deal Yep. Mm, what paper do um art by Maria. F paper for what? Paper for this is an Okuhu sketchbook. Paper for a larger piece was his or artist paper. Paper or... for the travel journal? What are you specifically asking for which paper? Because we've shown a lot of stuff today. Um what advice would you give to a ten year old um that is new to art? Uh, draw everything every day. Draw the world around you. Uh, draw what you see. Don't draw out of your head. Not that there's anything wrong with drawing out of your head. Just that you'll learn more by drawing what you see. <laughs> Lula's dad thinks that she should dress her son up as Mr. T to, <laughs> to advertise the shop, which I got to tell you, go dad. Go, that's Dad. Cute. That's fantastic. Do you prefer square or round brushes and why? I like round brushes for watercolor and I like uh, square brushes sometimes for gouache, but mostly mm -hmm. round brushes. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I like the, uh, the variation. I can go on the side to get a, a, mm -hmm. a broad and I can go to the point to get uh, a point. Mm -hmm. Um, they would like to see the photo reference again that you're using. There you go. There's the photo reference. Um, is it worth investing in Ohuhu markers? Um, I, I would say I would, I would start off with the, um, the art beak markers first. They're just the same, honestly. Ohuhus are great, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying I, I, I found that they weren't any better than the um, the art beak, mm -hmm. and the art beak are way cheaper. Um, the I'm a ten year old, and what do you think I should start with, like sketching or painting? Sketching. Learn to draw before you start painting. Mm -hmm. Okay, we showed you the reference. We talked about brushes. Um, okay, that's really a morbid question. So. What's wrong? They want to know if you're afraid to lose your hands. There's nothing morbid I think it's that. a morbid question. Okay, but it's not a morbid question. Well, I think it is. Okay, no, I'm not afraid to lose my hands. If I lost my hands, I would write. You know? I mean, there's there's so many types of art. Um, Do you have any tips on growing and getting views? This person recently started a TikTok channel. Um, no, it, it it's it is genuinely uh, a crapshoot. You just don't know. I would make content that makes you happy. Don't go chasing. I mean, look, there are genuinely people who want to be influencers and they'll do anything they can. If you're one of those people, God bless you, follow trends, you know, Ugh. make make a fool of yourself. And I mean, I, I'm not yeah. saying that negatively. I'm saying like, you have that to, it, you, you kind of have to be, yeah, because they push it yeah, out. You, you, you yeah, have to trends. do crazy stuff. Yep. If that's what you want to do, then then please go do that. Mm -hmm. But um, Scott's I, not big on that. I never sought mm -hmm. to be big on anything. I never wanted mm -hmm. to be an influencer or big on YouTube or anything. 
I, I did not set out to do this. Nope. How do you work out where the fabric falls and the shading? And it's 1030. Okay. Um, there is a video on folds. I would look at that. There's a short on folds. And I, I kind of talk about that. I'm just going to blend these a little bit. How did you get comfortable using colors? I'm always scared to use color because I'm afraid to mess up my line art. You're going to mess up your line art. Mm -hmm. And you're going to mess up in your colors. But mm -hmm. you just do it enough times and you mm -hmm. don't mess up as much. But you should never be afraid to... Try. To try and, mm -hmm. and not hold your art precious. Look, if you've got a piece of line art that you really like... Scan it in, copy it, trace it onto another piece of paper, so that way you don't lose that. But you, mm -hmm. you should never be so afraid. I, I can't tell you how many times I went, oh, I really like the line art, and then I got to the inking stage or the painting stage and went, oh, God, I ruined it. Mm -hmm. Happens all the time. Mm -hmm. But I don't let it stop me from doing it again. No, you do not. No. I want to start watercolor. What paper do I get? Get at least 300 GSM. Um, if you can afford it, uh, uh, the one that I use, this one right here, is by Be Creative. It's $15. Mm -hmm. It's 100% cotton. It's literally the best paper in the world, if, if you ask me. Only if you ask Scott, though. Yeah. Uh, Marguerite's here and says, hello. We'll watch the replay. Oh, welcome, Marguerite. Have a good weekend, Marguerite. I am not thrilled with this, but I will. You're driving me crazy. I think it looks great. Well, thank you, but it's just it does it's lacking something, and I just don't know what it is. Breakfast. Maybe it needs breakfast. It needs breakfast. Mm -hmm. Maybe it needs a five-minute break and some breakfast, and then it'll look better. Should we let everybody go? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, um... What should we do? Let me just do a couple more little lines here and there. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. Thank you all for hanging out, out with us. I'm sorry. We're sorry for the... Yeah, little technical difficulties at the beginning. start, yeah. But sometimes it just doesn't want to work. Sometimes, yeah. Um, Pearly Crafts, check out the Art Hacks or the Shorts playlist. There's a lot of tutorials in there that you can, um, can check out. All right. Thank you for hanging out with us, everybody. Yeah, thanks we'll, for being here. I'll we'll try to post a video if I'm feeling like this is a, a, a good <laughs> example of what to do with, uh, colored uh, markers, markers, but, um... If not, mm -hmm. I'll figure something else out. <laughs> All right, everybody. We will talk to you on... Monday. Theoretically, we'll talk to you on Monday. Yeah. That's the theory. Have a wonderful Have weekend. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>